or this one, another one, and then we'll go on. So, all right, where are we making our mistakes? Algebra two. Where are the majority of our mistakes going to be making in? The algebra, right? So, just make, I know a lot of you guys. It's been a while, or a lot of you forgot a lot of the stuff. So just make sure you guys are following through, and make sure you guys at least understand the concept that I moved through. But as far as the initial composition, if you're going on a test or quiz and you're not texting on your phone or in your graphing calculator, you guys will agree with me that um, you can at least show some work, show me something that you understand to be able to gain some points. I don't care about the final answer. I don't care, hey, it equals two. Um, I care about you guys at least showing me the step. The first thing we want to understand is that, again, this is this. So you don't need to show like every step that I'm doing, but again, for just for instructional purposes, j of h of x. So h of x is being inserted into j of x. So that looks something like this. You don't need to show this, but I just want everybody to at least agree with me. Everybody agrees that I'm taking h of x and plugging it in for the input variable of j of x. Does that at least make sense to everybody? Okay. Yeah, but I haven't plugged in h of x yet h of x, h of x minus 1. I'm plugging in the h of x in for the input. So now, let's plug in the h of x. And again, I'm going to use parentheses because that's what I said when I input something in a function. doesn't matter how easy or simple it is or how complex it is. I remain consistent and use parentheses. So this is going to be 1 over 2x plus 1 all over 1 over 2x plus 1 minus 1. The reason why I use parentheses is because I want you guys to understand you can't subtract this one and that one. That's in the denominator, that's in the numerator. So you can't like, subtract those, right? But what we have is we have an issue now. We gotta find the domain. Now technically we compose this correctly. It's not simplified, but it's composed. So if we need to simplify this to find the domain, we kinda have an issue, wouldn't you guys agree? We have, you know, we have a numerator, denominator here, denominator here, and then we have a big de denominator. So in general, what we did in dividing functions, if you guys remember with rational expressions, we want to get rid of fractions in the numerator and denominator, right? And the easiest way to get rid of a number is you're not really getting rid of it, but you're multiplying it to equal 1. So technically, this is also a fraction. It's negative 1 over 1. So if we want to get our fractions, now notice these fractions are exactly the same. So actually, we don't need to find common denominators and get you know multiply everything. We just need to get rid of these fractions. So multiply. So I just need to multiply by the reciprocal. Would that make sense as far as multiplying by the reciprocal? Because if I multiply by the reciprocal of one over two x plus one, these are now not are going to be multiplied to one. Here's where people make the mistake, though. Multiplying the numerator times the reciprocal is easy. The denominator, you guys have an expression, one term minus another term. You can't just multiply one number. You've got to multiply both of them, right? which is the distributive property. So any expression multiplied by its reciprocal goes to 1. Any expression multiplied by its reciprocal goes to 1. Here we have a minus 2x plus 1. Right? 2x plus 1 over 1 times negative 1 over 1, it just equals negative 2x plus 1 over 1. And you could say it's over 1, but guys, do we really need to write over 1? No, that's kind of like a waste of time. Does anybody have any questions on how I got from here to here? Yes? Why is it 1 minus Why is it 1? Well, you agree with me that this times this goes to 1. That's where that 1 is. This times this goes to 1. That's where that came from. This times this, negative 1 times 2x plus over 1 gives me that. All right. So now let's just go ahead and simplify it. For time purposes, I'm going to um, do this in here. So I'm going to distribute the negative. So I'll get a negative x, and then I'll get a minus, minus 1. So that goes to 0. So I'm left with 1 over a negative 2x. That is my simplified answer. Now let's find the domain. Guys, what values are going to make the denominator 0? Zero? 0. So the domain, negative infinity to 0, union 0 to infinity. <sighs> Questions? Questions? 
All right, so we'll do one more, and then I got a really good 